Hi, I'm Ryan with Trivan Truck Body in Ferndale, Washington. We're showcasing this brand new, awesome SWAT truck that we just built. It's a customer supplied four door international crew cab, and everything behind the cab was designed and built by Trivan. So, again, it's a SWAT van, command post, lots of storage below the floor height. These are all aluminum compartments. We have hanging rails for whiteboards that detach from the body and store inside. Over here we have an outside command area, external monitors, we have two types of radios here, plugs, whiteboards, a fold-away counter for laptops, for outside briefing, and this just all stores out of the way when not in use. More storage down below, adjustable shelves, the body by the way is 16 feet long back of the cab. The back of the truck may be tough to see, but we have some LED scene lights that are fixed mounted in the top corners. We also have these tripod lights, which can stay put as they are, where they are, or they can be removed and set up and plugged into the side of the truck. Single entry door into the back of the vehicle. Down below, we have a fold out step, which can fold out of the way. We have a class five hitch receiver, so you can tow with this truck. These fold out steps, same type you'd see on a fire truck give you easy safe access to the roof of the vehicle on the roof we've got a backup camera antenna and air conditioning units the generator actually is running right now you might be able to hear it in the background it's an Onan diesel generator and it's plumbed into the truck fuel supply very quiet you'll see when we get inside the vehicle how quiet it actually is we have a shore power plug in case you have power plug the truck in like an RV. We have a motorized awning at the top of the vehicle. That's a single push button control from the inside. Uh, more storage down below there. Here's your side entry door, it's a step well. You'll notice once I open that door that the quickie step down below automatically deploys. Uh, forward of the body, above the cab, we have a tri-van over the cab extension. Lots of storage space that gives you on the inside for uh, miscellaneous bulky gear. So here's that side door opening up. Quickie step deploys and into the vehicle we go. This is a step well, making it easy to get in and out of the vehicle. Let's just step in and have a look around. You'll notice how quiet it gets. So I'm standing at the front of the step well here. Let's take a look at this service panel. This is a Blue Sea Marine Grade service panel. All of your 120 volt and 12 volt circuits. The wiring is run through here. Everything is labeled push button breakers, very clean and tidy. In the area above the cab, I'm not sure how many cubic feet this is, but it's a lot. It's five feet deep, eight feet wide, probably two and a half feet tall. Great spot for Pelican cases and other bulky gear. We have a forward command area counter over here where we've got uh, light controls for the inside dome lights, the outside scene lights, 120 volt power, even 12 volt car lighters, 12 volt power ports. USB ports, HDMI and VGA. By the way, this, uh, these outlets will feed the outside monitors and the outside command area. More plugs, whiteboards, uh, radio, speakers. So a lot happens at this work counter. Uh, below the counter, we've got 300 pound capacity aluminum drawers with removable adjustable dividers. These are self-closing, they're transit safe, Lots of overhead cabinets. Anywhere we've got open space, we have these aluminum cabinets. They're very simple. They stay open with a spring. They close, and they're completely transport safe. So lots of space in here. We have a fairly tall, I'd say five and a half, almost six foot tall, uh, partition cabinet for uh, ballistic shields and blankets. That can be tucked away in there. Uh, just to the rear of that, we have a munitions uh, cabinet. Down below here we have an explosives drawer with a magazine built to ATF standards for carrying explosives. So that's all here. This of course can be closed and key locked. Weapons can go on either side of this. We've supplied the customer with some quick fists, which slide right into this unit strut. Gives them great flexibility in storing things on both sides of this slide out. It stays where it is, push the yellow lever down, and 
it locks into place. We have adjustable shelves here for munitions, and the whole works stores behind this door, which can be locked. The very back end, we have, I'll get out of your way here, we've got cargo netting like what we have at the front with big, deep, adjustable shelves. You can, you can tailor adjust these shelves to whatever your equipment needs are. You'll notice it's quite bright in here. We have white aluminum lining on the inside, painted white aluminum. Everything has a whiteboard finish, so you can actually use these cabinet doors as a whiteboard finish. More storage space here on the inside. You've got stand-up work counters, one small window. The flooring itself is a rubberized uh, commercial grade lawn seal floor. It wears very well. And the entire body is insulated, so it can operate in the heat of California or Arizona heat and also can operate in the cold of Alaska. Uh, fully climate controlled with air conditioners, heating down below, and again, completely self-contained. So this is a quick look at a SWAT vehicle built by Tri-Van Truck Body. Uh, we don't mass produce these, everyone is a custom build, and we'd love to talk to you about your project. Maybe you have something com coming up and this gives you some ideas for your next SWAT vehicle design. So give us a call, it's Tri-Van Truck Body, we're in Ferndale, Washington, and my name is Ryan and we'd love to talk to you more. Thanks for watching the video.